Hey guys, it's Ryan with AIinsidertips.com. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to write 10 blog posts in 10 minutes using AI. In this example, I'm using a tool called seowriting.ai, and I personally have been using this tool for not only my clients, but also my affiliate work and just other SEO optimized articles that I am writing. So guys, I do have a special discount link for seowriting.ai below this video. I believe it only starts at about $12 per month, um, but you do get a ton of great features with this tool. So some of you may be asking, well, why don't I just use ChatGBT or some of these other AI writing softwares? And by the way, we do have a complete guide on the best AI writing software. And guys, I personally have ranked SEO writing AI number one after using all of these. Write Sonic is another good one. Copy AI, Writer. Um, but guys, ChatGBT just is not there for long form content, in my opinion. I will leave a link to this in the description below as well. But guys, heading back to SEO writing AI to show you how to write 10 blog posts in 10 minutes. So if you are following along on this dashboard of SEO writing.ai, the first thing I'm going to do is click bulk article generation. And here it will give you the bulk article generation breakdown. So here we will enter in 10 keywords, one keyword per article. So I'm gonna actually skip ahead here while I put in 10 keywords and I'm gonna continue down this list. All right guys, so as you'll see here, I do have 10 keywords now, and all of this is in my niche of AI. So Google Bard versus ChatGBT, best AI chatbots, best ChatGBT prompts, all 10 of these ideas are in my niche of AI. So what's really cool about seowriting.ai, once you have your main keywords, it will actually generate a title for you. So I'm gonna click generate. And as you'll see, while it is doing this, it creates a title for each keyword. Now, obviously it says 2021 here, so there are some nuances with the titles, um, but I'm gonna just go in here and edit some after this is done, and then I'll show you guys what the next step is. All right, so after the titles are all optimized, you can add additional keywords if you want to. I just leave this blank. So once that's done, you will have options here uh, for the course settings. So we're gonna do English. For the tone of voice, we're gonna go ahead and do professional. And again, this depends on whatever niche you're writing about. You can customize these settings to whatever you would like. For point of view, I'm gonna go with plural, we, as there are multiple writers on this website. Target country, I'm gonna do United States. Article size, I tend to leave it medium or large, depending on your plan. If you do large, it can eat up your word count. Uh, and just, you know, I tend to leave it on medium. We'll just leave it on medium for now. Um, so this is an important one, details to include. Um, so anytime you want to say like, you know, AI insider tips or your company's name, instead of just having AI default a response, I'm going to go ahead and copy what it says here. So specify name of the website as AI insider tips. That way, whenever it mentions my website and, you know, whenever these articles are done, it'll have AI insider tips instead of just some default response. So once that's done, the beauty of SEO writing that AI is it can also generate images. So for images, I'm gonna I, what I like to do is do after the H1 only, and I'll just do optimal quality as you have different tokens here. So with optimal quality, you know, it's one token per image. With high quality, it's 10 tokens per image. You know, I haven't found too much of a difference here, so I'll just do optimal quality. And guys, I, I do photo for this one. Um, you can do, you know, whatever your niche is, cartoon, fantasy, anime, comic book. I just tend to leave it at photo. These images can be hit and miss, um, but for the most part, if you're just cranking out blogs, you know, in bulk, um, I haven't had too many issues with this. And I would also leave this check to include the main keyword as the first image is alt text. I would just check this. So now for the structure, what I like to do I like to leave all of these on yes, except for quotes. And I don't like having italics either, but I like everything else here as yes. Um, and the beautiful part about SEO writing that AI is you can integrate it directly to your WordPress site. So if I click this, you'll see I have AI insider tips right here. And also you can integrate it to whatever categories that are built into your WordPress site. You'll see it automatically pulled the categories on my WordPress site 
Um, for this one, you know, I'm just going to go ahead and do a generic category because a lot of these are different. They're not really in the same category. Um, I'm just going to go with AI tools for now, and I can change this once the articles are published and come back. Um, so post status. So whenever you click, you know, post or write, you can click to either have them published straight to your blog or website. You can put them in draft mode or you can schedule them. Um, for the purposes of this example, I think I'm just going to go ahead and leave these in publish and just see what happens. Um, URL, I like to leave this as the main keyword. I like the, the permalink or the URL as my main keyword. You can include tags if you want. I'm not going to in this example. And I would also leave this checked as the first image will be your featured image. So for your language model, you can decide, well, it looks like GBT4 is coming soon as these, you know, the operators of this tool are constantly making new features and updates, but it does integrate with GBT 3.5, Turbo 16K, and GBT4. So just leave it at this, and then you can also add your open API key to this tool if you have one. Now, because I am on a paid plan and I have a lot of words to use yet, I'm just gonna leave this as no, but you can integrate your OpenAI API key if you would like to. I'm just gonna leave this as no. So once you have all of these settings dialed in, I would come up here and double check your titles and your keywords, and then you can go ahead and click run. And then click continue. So as you'll see here now in the background, this is creating 10 blog posts in a matter of minutes. You'll see status, it has 0%. It looks like they've already started writing Google Bard versus ChatGBT. Um, so guys, I'm gonna go ahead and skip ahead here until this process is done, which depending on how many articles you give the system, it takes typically between three to five minutes, sometimes longer, um, depending on like the length of your articles, how many you do and all the settings. So I'm just gonna pause the video here and then come back once the articles are created. All right, guys, after you see all of these green check marks under status, this means that all of my articles are now written. So to check this, I'm gonna go to my website here, AIinsiderTips.com. I'm gonna click on the blog section and let's see what this tool produced. Yep, as you'll see here, all these articles are now published on my site. So whether it was AI image generators, Bard versus ChatGBT, AI chatbots, mid-journey prompts. Guys, look at these images first off. I'm actually very impressed with some of these images that SEOwriting.ai created. Um, so guys, let's go ahead and just click on one as an example. Let's do Google Bard versus ChatGBT. So right away, the first thing I notice is that it did correctly do the URL structure as it says Google Bard versus ChatGBT, which is my primary keyword, is in my permalink. And that's exactly what I asked the tool to do. So let's look at this article here really quick. Key takeaways, what is Google Bard? Um, you'll notice it even creates a table, which is really cool. I have yet to see AI tools you know, create unique tables um, that are SEO optimized as well. You know, what is ChatGBT? It talks about language generation capabilities. Um, let's see here, use cases and applications. So overall, just looking at this, not terrible. It even has FAQs here, wow. So it generated a ton of FAQs. Um, but guys, at the end of the day, I'm gonna check one more just to see. Uh, let's do best AI image generators. So again, not a bad image here. Um, let's see, top AI image generators for graphic design, Canva, PictoChart. So again, it looks like the information that it's giving me here actually is pretty on. So that's it guys. That is how you write 10 blog posts in approximately 10 minutes using AI, specifically seowriting.ai. So again, this is Ryan with AI Insider Tips. I appreciate you guys being here. This is the first video on my channel. I look forward to creating more information about AI tips, AI tutorials. So be sure to subscribe, like, share, leave a comment below if there's any AI tips that you guys wanna know about or tools for me to review. I'm happy to review any AI tool that looks interesting. So guys, again, thank you for being here and I hope you have a great day.